yeah, big, big fight this. Tough fight. Big puncher, undefeated. Comes with American TV, so very, very appealing fight. It's, it's going to be a crowd pleaser. Looking forward to it, mate. You know, so, uh, I've got my hands full, but I'm going to uh, I'm gonna overcome this. Have HBO given you any indication where they like, go after this? Should you win? Basically, HBO uh, are backing Kovalev in a way. You know, he, he, he's been making waves in America, winning and knocking people out. So American TV have jumped on his side, um, HBO. So they're coming over with Kovalev. But hopefully I can uh, upset the apple cart and, um, and take this guy out. In the past, I've asked you about um, your style. You've got willing to take a shot. It's important that I don't give this guy any free shots, don't get reckless. You know, sometimes in the past I've been a little bit reckless, um, took risks. I may do at some point in the fight, but it's dangerous because this guy can bang. You know, he's a massive puncher, so um, it's important that I show boxing skills. Um, and make it easier for myself, rather than sometimes just just trying to, uh, you know, to out, outgun the guy. In your last fight, this was a very uh, mixed between boxing skills and sort of mixing up the power shots. Was that your yeah. best performance? Yeah, I'd say it was my most complete performance to date. You know, combining the boxing and then the fighting in in different rounds, um, just changing the plans really, and and. It's um, that was that was my most complete performance. So I'm getting more experience now, learning bit by bit. Take that into the Kovalev fight, and uh, I should be all right. I should get through this fight. How frustrating and annoying is it for you reading some of the things that go online? I mean, Warren got done this week. Showed his own frustration with some of the things that are online. So frustrating is it for people in the public guy like yourself who get criticised by people who a lot of them are really qualified to speak on the subject? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does get frustrating because. For example, you know, someone like Kovalev, because he's not like a Bernard Hopkins or a Chad Dawson, people automatically assume he's not as good a fighter. Whereas in reality, this guy is potentially better. You know, he's, he's a lot more dangerous um, and he's hungry. You know, he's undefeated he's, and he's coming to win. But because his name is not a renowned name, people jump on the bandwagon and, and kind of, you know, automatically assume you're potentially fighting a nobody, but this guy is he's, he's serious. So not only are you defending your world title on the 17th, but also your box, are you making a managerial debut with Ali Cook? How's the managing side of things going? Yeah, enjoying that. You know, it's um, something beside my own boxing career, really, just to keep me taking over. And um, obviously to bring on the potential talent, you know, and, and Ali's one of them. Excellent amateur um, and potentially a bright future. So it's a, it's a good start for him on the undercard in Cardiff and uh, looking to, to bring him on. I know you've been doing some sparring with Ali in the last few weeks. How's he been looking in the gym? Looking excellent, sharp, um, very fit, very lean, um, and uh, you know, he got good, good power in both hands. And uh, he can box, he can fight, and uh, you know, very, very sharp.